Hello everyone and welcome back to my second video series on Malites for Severus. We'll be exploring again for different questions of the grammars on Malites, from tenses to sentence structures to part of speech. So even the grammar can be sometimes be tricky, but we will make it fun, easy and accessible for everyone. So whether you are a beginner or advanced learner, this series is for you. So the first question on the screen is, anyone with to the vessel is a security treat. So the option for the answer are A to access, B access, C access, and D accessing. So for the correct answer is access. The sentence anyone with access to the vessel is a security treat indicate that the speaker believe that anyone who has the ability to enter the vessel poses a risk to its security. So the word access is a noun to refer to ability to enter, use, or retrieve something. In this context, it refers to ability to enter the vessel. So how about another option? To access. The to access, it is an infinity process that indicates the purpose of an action. For example, I need a password to access my account. I repeat, I need a password to access my account. So that sentence is indicate that the password is required in order to able to enter the account. So we continue to the next option is access it. Is a past tense of access and indicates that someone has already gained entry to the something. For example, the thief access the bank's computer system. So that sentence indicates that the thief was able to enter the computer system. So we come to the another option is accessing. Accessing is the present participle form of access and refers to ongoing or continuous actions of gaining entry to something. For example, the hacker is currently accessing the network. I repeat, the hacker is currently accessing the network. The sentence indicates that the hacker is in the process of entering the network. Second question on the screen is where the emergency palm located? The option for the answer are A is B does C do and D has. So the correct answer is is. Let's discuss together about this. Is the correct answer option to fill in the blank is a form of the verb to be and it's used to link the subject where to predicate located. This creates a question that asks for information about locations of the emergency pump. Another option is does. Does is not the correct because does is a form of the auxiliary verb do and is typically used to form questions and negative present tense sentences. For example, does he have the key? Indicate that the speaker is asking about the positions of the key. Continue to another option is has. Has as well is not a correct used to indicate positions or ownership. For example, she has a cake. I repeat, she has a cake. So indicate that the person possesses a cake. So how about the option do? Do is not a correct as well for the same reason as does. Do is not a form of the auxiliary verb and do is typically used in equation and negative in present tense sentences. So let's continue to the next question. On check the empty containers for stowaways. 
So the options for the answer are A. Will B. Going C. About and D. Going to And what is the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is going to So let's discuss together The sentence I'm going to check the empty containers for stowaways indicate that the speaker intends to inspect the empty containers to make sure that there is no stowaways are hiding inside so the press going to is used to express the future plan or intentions the word will is also used to express future plans or intentions for example i will clean the kitchen tomorrow so indicate that the speaker intends to clean the kitchens in the futures the word going can be used to describe movement or actions in progress but in this context it doesn't make sense to use it alone without two to convey the future actions of the speaker the word about the word about is used to indicate the approximate time or to introduce a topics of discussions for example i'm going Sorry, I'm about to leave. Indicate that the speaker is preparing to depart soon. For the questions, number four is when precautions should be when loading dangerous cargo. So the options for the answer are A. To take B. Taken C. Taking and D. Took So the correct answer is Taken Why? Let's discuss together The sentence is asking about the appropriate timing for taking precaution when loading dangerous cargo So here precaution should be the subjects of the sentence and taken should be the past participle form of the verb take because the sentence is in the passive voice therefore the correct uh, sentence structure is when should precautions be taken when loading dangerous cargo the word taken is in the correct tense and forms and match the sentence structures and convey the intent meaning the last question in this video is Shanghai is port in the world so the options for the answer are a the most largest B the largest C as large as D larger than so what is the correct answer? The correct answer is the largest. So the sentence is comparing the size of the port of Shanghai to the other port in the world. The superlative forms of the adjective large is used to indicate that the Shanghai is the largest port in the world. Therefore, the correct sentence structure is Shanghai is the largest port in the world. So how about the word most? The word most. The word most is not needed because it's already a superlative form. So I repeat, the word most is not needed because is already a superlative form. How about the word as? The word as is not appropriate in this context because it is used for comparisons of equality. While this sentence is making comparisons of superiority. Finally, the word larger than. The larger than is not a correct because it is comparative form. It's not a superlative. Therefore, the sentence is grammatically correct and accurately convey the Shanghai is the largest port in the world. Hey guys, thank you for joining us on this video through the words of grammar. I hope that this series has been a valuable resource for you. 
and you feel more confidence in your ability to communicate effectively in English. Remember that the grammar is the foundations of good writing and speaking. It helps you to convey your ideas clearly and accurately to connect with your audience in a meaningful way. So we, whether you are a native English speaker or learning the language as a second language, understanding and mastering grammar is ongoing process. So keep practicing, keep learning and keep improving. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.